Hi guys, have you subscribed to this Donnie Dewberry channel? Well, I'm thrilled to come on and share with you lots of lessons, but to do that, I need you to subscribe and go to notifications and ring the bell so that you're notified when I'm coming on. I have lots of special free streaming lessons that are great for you to come on live with me. So please go do that and stay tuned for the lesson. Hi guys, welcome this morning to Relax and Paint. I'm thrilled to be with you this morning and share with you um, another step-by-step, uh, -step, easy to do, wanting you to relax and enjoy the process of learning one stroke with me. So I'm gonna mix a few flowers that I use a lot. I also, I forgot that I wanna use some uh, purples in here. So let's see if, I can pull out some purple. Okay, so I'm starting today with, so I'm gonna do, we're gonna do a little sunflower in this painting. We're doing a little stock flower. I need some white. And I just realized I didn't pull out white. I thought I was all prepared this morning. Okay, but there we go. So I have our colors. I have citrus green, sap green. These are multi-surface colors. All right, can you say multi surface? And they have a sealer in them. They're just perfect for what we're doing. We're using some floating medium. All right, so that's a clear liquid that you guys say, ma'am, what's that clear? That's floating medium. I hope you guys had a good weekend and um, starting, this is like kind of in the middle of the week. So inspire you to paint, paint, paint with me. Okay. So um, check out what's going on with the group and how much fun that we get to have together. All right. So let's start painting. I'm going to get out my, um, let's see, let's get a 12 flat and um, I'm going to take a 16 for some leaves. I'm doing a three quarter for a rose that I'm doing. So let's go to the overhead camera and let's have a good time today. All right, so here we go. All right, so what I wanna do is um, I'm going to uh, start out by just designing what I wanna put on here. And I have used up a bunch of my chalk. I need to get some good chalk in here. All right. So what I want you to see is that I wanted to put a rose bud, big rose buds, and a rose down here. This is just um, multimedia paper. And I have a sunflower that's going to be right there. A few stalk flowers. All right, and then we'll add some leaves here and there. Okay, so just kind of laying out the design. So I hope that if you can't do this with me this morning, that maybe you figure out during the day or at night that you want to paint this. So if you're just having your breakfast with me this morning, then that's a plan, right? So here we are. And then I'm going to take my 16 flat and I have 16 flat and my signature brushes too. So let me just get that. I wet this brush. I dry it on the paper towel. And then let's pick up. This is pink melon and magenta. Back and forth, back and forth to get it full. And then I can dip a little bit of white on, this is wicker white, on the pink melon side. Okay, so let's do our first strokes. Our first strokes are really smooth, single stroke. I'm gonna go real close so you're seeing that with me, all right? Up and over. Now I'm gonna come if you can just see me, I'm going to stroke next to the white. And I'm going to come back in here. 
and do a second stroke. A little bit of white. And come all the way back up to there. You see that? I just keep picking up a little bits of white. I went and got a little bit more of the magenta and the pink melon. See how I'm building layers out? Okay, see how I'm laying this out? I'm laying them out with this way. Then I can come in here and just kind of fill in. Chill down. All right, and then just do a few little thin chisels. They're laying them out. Isn't that kind of fun? Okay, let's make this one open a little bit more. There. Okay, so this one's going to lay out a little bit more. See how I'm laying those lighter colors outward? Then all I have to do is come in here. Needs white. Let me get white back in here. And then I'm just chiseling, chiseling on the edge. Let's get a little bit more. There. See, let's bring a little bit more of that white in there. Oops. I don't want to put my finger now on the paint and then smear it. So just more layers there. All right. And right here, we have a tight little bud. Okay, one, two, three. Now, while we have this, I'm gonna have to cover this with a leaf or something. But let's just do, let me take the three quarter, wet it, put it on the paper towel and load it really good also. Let's get that in there. All right, so let's do this real nice. Let's put this over here so you can see that I'm going to go off onto the towel, the paper towel there. Can you see? All right. So I'm going off the edge. Okay. I'm going to get my magenta, pink melon, wicker white. And then I'm going to keep going here really loose. And see, as I come around, I just carefully go off the edge. So you can see that I bring the petals back on. This is my three quarter inch flat. I'm not using any medium because I have so much paint on there. It's good. Now I can pounce the center in there. So now look, we've got this nice layout. All right. And then I'm going to wipe this brush off, but I am going to come right here on that pink brush and then come right here and work it in. Pick up some white on the citrus green corner. Okay, now this does need some medium. So I dip straight in. Floating medium is the fluff that's inside paint with no pigment. And we don't use water, guys. If we use water, we get muddy. And so to get the pretty blend of those colors, I can't use water. All right. So I'm going to, let me try to come so you can see me. I'm going to touch this and I'm going to pull straight down. Touch and pull. All right. And I have those roses kind of facing towards us. So I want you to see 
Then I'm going to wiggle one side. And then look, I slide this side. And then I pull a stem right in to hold that. All right, I'm not worried about being exactly on the chalk because I can wipe the chalk off later. See, there's one side, a little bit of a wave. I can even turn this upside down. All right. You can see that edge, it was dry. So just the, the citrus edge needed a little bit of paint. And then I can pull the stem up into it. Okay, see how pretty? All right, so this needs a stem also. And I have a couple more stems here. On the chisel. I'm leading with the dark green if you're asking. The dark green is going first because whatever follows is the predominant color. So we're on black or dark gray. So we need that citrus to be the color. If we turn it this way, you don't see it. Okay. All right, now this, now that I'm pushing a little bit harder, this has pink in it some because I left some pink in the brush. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit more medium and color because I need it to be really easy to put on here. All right, so look, now I'm going to slide this edge up and pull this down. Okay. There we go. I'll put a little more of a leaf. All right, so that kind of nice. Now all I have to do is add a few down here. I don't know if you can see, but I see little tints of pink in that leaf. There. There we go. Now let's look at that whole piece now. Isn't that kind of pretty? All right. Well, I'm gonna get my half inch scruffy. Let's make sure it says half inch, yes. And I'm gonna pounce some brown and so this is, um, I'm sorry. I wanna make sure I'm telling you the right name. This is real brown. So it's a little bit muted, real brown. And then Pueblo. All right, so let's come right in here. We're gonna pounce it right along here. Okay, and now look what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tap that down so they meet each other. And I'm just gonna go in between with the 12 flat and let's see what happens. Let's look at this really close. All right. all the way around. Now this is a beautiful thing here, is that now I come up and I'm going across. See how pretty that picks it up? Lots of paint each time you do this. <laughs> Look how fun and easy that is. Now all I'm gonna do for a few minutes is come in here and add some greenery on the bottom of the rosebuds. Okay, and the sunflower. I'm going to put a few more green calyx there. And I have a few of these little guys along here before I take off the chalk. And I'm going to fill those in. But let's look at this little calyx here. I'm going to take and I'm going to put pressure and lift, pressure and lift, pressure and lift, 
pressure and left. All right, and here, since I have it tilted towards us, we wouldn't put any calyx on the bottom. We could just have some coming down like this. I added those few and I want to come in here with a little bit of burr number and a little bit of Pueblo. And we can just put teeny bits of white in here and maybe even some yellow. Okay. Oh, you didn't see that, sorry. Let me show you again. I'm just putting the browns and the yellow by tapping a little bit in there. All right, see the burn number kind of gives it the depth. Just a little bit. Sorry, I didn't know you didn't see that. All right, let's see if this is wicker white with some purple. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now this is a six flat. How do you like this? It's kind of fun, huh? I'm going to come in here. And it's a little muddy, so let's pick up a little bit more white. A little bit here, a little bit there. And we just put a little bit of this coming down. And it just makes it a fun, you can see, you can slow me down and you can start it again. Practice what I'm sharing with you. Okay. All right. And that just adds to our fun little look. I can come in here with a few more citrus. Little strokes of greenery. This is also with the six. I'm just adding push, lift, push, lift, just to finish it all. I know I'm being quick this morning, but I hope that you enjoy this and it inspires you. Isn't that kind of fun? I'm going to take this a little bit. I'm going to come right here and take off some chalk. Oops, that was not smart. See, I tell you to wait till it's all dry. So wait till it's all dry. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to get a little bit of citrus. Okay. And come along here. And add just a few curls. This all growing from the ground. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit more paint now. Now, if you stay on the tip of the script, script liner, if you stay on this tip, then the paintbrush just lets all the paint slide down there. Really nice for you. And then right here, I'm going to sign all downward strokes with the two script liner. This is a two script liner. Only time I use um, water is with the script liner because I need it to be inky. So if you watch me on our practice strokes, you learn about how to load these brushes. You learn how to make these leaves. You learn how to have fun with this. So there we go. Quick and easy and fun. Thank you for being with me this morning. I'll see you next time. Be here Friday.